Hey what's up guys. Today let's see how to create a desktop application with Angular 2. Angular 2 as of now couldn't be used directly to create a desktop application. So we'll be making use of the Electron application framework which is by github and uh, you know it allows us to create desktop applications using our javascript frameworks so first let's create a des uh, desktop application using electron and let's see how we could use angular 2 to leverage the power of that application so let's get started and uh, i'll open my terminal here and then uh, okay first of all let me just create a directory uh, angular 2 disk maybe and then I'll cd into that uh, directory and then initialize an application okay this is okay yes and then to install uh, electron I'll just an npm install electron uh, pre-built pre-built saved okay this will go ahead and install our electron uh, binary so let's go ahead and open this up in uh, uh, this thing vs code editor angular 2 disk okay and now you, as you can see we have the package.json file let's go ahead and create one more file called uh, index.js okay uh, before writing anything in this let this let us see whether this is this is not at all okay no no issues we'll just go ahead and get started with this and then maybe it'll be over at uh, some other point of time i'll just write the usual electron app require app okay and then where uh, browser window we need one more thing browser window equal to require browser window okay and then uh, what else uh, we need to make use of those two here app dot on ready and then i'll write a function where main window sorry window equal to new browser window uh, with this one two eight zero maybe I this 720 okay uh, then what else do I need right here okay first of all let's see whether this runs it should just open up a blank application right with uh, this width and uh, height that's all right uh, let's see if this goes fine and then we can you know go ahead and proceed with the next step now that this is installed let's open up package.json and instead of this test thing here what we'll write is uh, we'll modify this to start and uh, electron electron dot dot specifies that you need to look for in this folder okay uh, now let's go ahead and run this and see whether this goes in npm start yeah wow it opens up right we get a window with that specifications uh, this is our desktop app basically so let's see how to uh, bring in an ang uh, file inside this first of all uh, to do that what it's simple main window dot load url and then we need to specify where the file is located file plus since this is a node app we can just use underscore underscore dire na directory name right and then uh, uh, maybe i'll create a new directory for that app uh, index.html okay and then here i'll create a new directory app and inside that directory i'll create a index.html file okay and in this uh, what shall i write html uh, head title first app Body, I'll write H1 tag. Hello, H1. Okay, a simple HTML file which just has a H1 element uh, which says hello. Okay, uh, and then we are loading that uh, HTML file here using this uh, code. 
now let's see whether this runs so npm start it doesn't run fine let's see why doesn't run fine because we haven't saved that now that we have saved it yeah you can see this right uh, it simply shows the hello thing hello that is it has loaded up the index.html file here now angular 2 with angular 2 you can write wonderfully superb uh, single page applications right it just loads this single page index.html which is all we need to write a, a very good single page application with the plenty of features so let's may let's see how you could bring in angular 2 inside this to write a single page application uh, and uh, how that would look up uh, in the desktop app let's see how to do that first of all we'll just do a basic thing okay today uh, in this video and uh, so, so to first of all to bring in angular 2 inside this i need to install it right uh, rather than installing the dependencies one by one what i'll do is i already have the dependencies here which i have taken from the angular 2 quick start app i'll just go ahead and add this here so that you know we could save a lot of time guys I uh, remove this completely and then just yeah that's it right remove this. yeah okay now we have the dependencies right so we could just go which means we could just go here and give npm install and be done with it and this would install it up for us so let's concentrate on the code now since I am using angular 2 and I am going to use typescript I will just add a tsconfig.json file here and then I am going to use webpack webpack is a, like a bundler guys bundler for uh, angular 2 what it will do is it will take all our external dependency files like uh, um, I don't know bootstrap or something and uh, some some other, all the other files and then uh, bundle those all into a single js file and give it uh, to you as a bundle file which you can just reference in the index.html file it will just be a single file which contains all your external dependencies that's what webpack is used maybe i'll make a separate video on webpack later on so we'll just since we are using this we'll just use the webpack dot uh, config sorry config dot js file uh, you can see that I'm using webpack here, right? Webpack and webpack dev server. Okay, uh, uh, so let's ts.config.json. I once again I have what should come here. I took this from the quick start app again, guys. I'll paste it here in order to save time. And package.json I already pasted, and the dependencies are installing, no problem. Let's go ahead and write the uh, webpack.conf. No, first, first of all, let's finish the Angular 2 app. I'll just you know create a new file and then app.ts okay and then uh, this is once again our most familiar thing amp import component from we'll do it quickly angular 2 slash core and then uh, we'll decorator component and then inside this selector selector would be my app and template uh, angular sorry h1 h1 angular 2 app in a desktop app okay and then slash h1 okay and then i'll simply export this export class app uh, component that's it right and I'll bootstrap this bootstrap app component okay that's a oh why is this okay we didn't in, import bootstrap right? import uh, bootstrap from uh, angular 2 sorry angular 2 slash uh, platform slash browser it's a simple typical angular 2 application i have done i haven't done anything special here i have just imported a component and uh, a single symbol selector for that component along with the template i'll use that go ahead and use that here uh my app right my app. okay slash my app okay now let's write the webpack config.js this is the I'll, I'll i'll try to make a separate video for webpack guys so even if you don't understand it now or even if i am a bit fast kindly excuse me so that you know it's just to, to bundle all these stuff together and put it inside our index.html you just understand it like that for now 
later on i'll explain this a bit more in a different video maybe uh, okay okay we have written the config.js uh, file now uh, let's go ahead uh, this will output the js files to the build directory right so we'll go ahead and put those here we'll refer those here script source first of all i need to reference the polyfills which won't be included in, uh, in while building this so i'll do that and uh, dots line node underscore modules uh what else angular to slash typing not typings what was that uh, um, polyfills will be in bundles bundles um, bundles slash angular to iphone polyfill start uh, js okay and then i'll finish off this script write a new script include uh, build common js script sorry script and then what else we need to do angular.js and one last one is app.js okay now app.js will be compiled and that will be included and uh, all the other stuff will be included as well and uh, what else web pack config is written that is okay this is here i need to add the files right file not this files uh, i'll put a thing here give it in an array uh, app slash app dot ts right ts file okay uh, types of config.js on is done package.json uh, package.json i should uh, optimize it for build right otherwise it won't run so i need to add a, a command here for build build what was that uh, web pack and I will give all several options which I can use progress profile uh, colors display something is there display error details I think error details and then uh, I display can you display the catched ones catched okay and then I'll add a comma here yeah hopefully it should go fine guys that's it I have included the uh, references to our JavaScript files which will be generated upon this execution this will build up the JavaScript files and then uh, compile the TS files first build up the JavaScript files and put it in a build directory which should be referenced by the index.html file 
and uh, upon reference this should take up the app.ts component and display the template therein because i am using the selector here app. Uh, component selector here and then i am bootstrapping that uh, uh, to the app so let's see if it goes fine rather than me talking a lot mm, npm build first i'll clear this first let me just run uh, npm run build Ah, uh, it's building it up. Oh, so many errors. Oh, this map promise. This is a bug, I guess. It will be resolved while Angular gets released, I guess. Watch carefully. I have faced this several times, guys. It's a huge headache. Uh, we just need to... Re if you know how to fix it, it's not at all a headache. Reference name. Uh, we need to give it here. Uh, no, not reference name reference path we need to give it here the path would be what was that uh, slash node underscore modules slash angular 2 slash typings slash uh, browser dot d dot ts now it will go fine Yeah, it has gone fine, right? As you can see, the angular2.js, app.js, all these files are built up uh, once our webpack file runs. And if you go into the build directory, you can see angular2 app and uh, common.js, right? I have referenced all these three here. Uh, let's see if our app runs fine. If our app runs fine, the title should be uh, first app and uh, it should contain uh, angular2 app in a desktop uh, app, right? Okay, now that it has been built, uh, let us go ahead and run this using npm start and see what happens. Wow, it works right, Angular 2 app inside a desktop app. So, this is how, you, you, you understand what happens here, right? Uh, first, we created an Electron app and we loaded the index.html file inside the This is nothing but a browser window that has been reconfigured in such a way that uh, it shows up in a desktop shows up as a desktop app okay uh, now where was it? yeah first uh, we created an electron app and then we loaded up the index.html file in that app index.html file in that app and uh, what we decided to do was since angular 2 can effectively create single page applications we just need one page right index.html and we can directly inject the views of different pages inside the same page that's the whole concept of a single page application so what we decided to do was uh, added the dependencies for angular 2 wrote a webpack file a webpack uh, config.js file which would bundle all those dependencies and give it as a single js file which we have included here uh, in the index.html and then we simply wrote a component file uh, this component file will display angular 2 app inside a desktop app simply a rough template nothing fancy here and then uh, if the index.html file is loaded once the index.html file is loaded it uh, takes up automatically from the uh, app.ts template and then displays it in the uh, window here right that's all this is how you write a desktop app using angular 2 you can make use of angular 2 to write a desktop app a lot of web application i mean desktop applications are being written in this way uh, since you can use the same application since you can use first of all the first reason is since you can use web technologies to write your desktop app the second reason is you can bundle the desktop app to run in different platforms like windows linux and uh, mac easily that's the one advantage of this so uh, i'll show you how to do the bundling in a different video so yeah that's the whole point of this video guys uh, whatever code i have written so far i'll uh, share it on github and uh, leave a link uh, to this entire tutorial on my, my blog it will be available i'll link uh, i mean leave a link to that uh, blog in the description of this video below so yeah that's it guys i hope this video was helpful to you kindly share it with other share it with other guys and uh, help them too and also kindly hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe it if you want to see more videos from me. So yeah, that's it guys. Talk to you in my next video. Bye.